Hello, today we will take a look at the new feature, Easy Config. The Easy Config feature provides the ability to replicate an initial machine configuration. When used, the following are replicated items. Game theme, progressive host, and client information as well as sound. With that being stated, we need to ensure the games are identical i.e. same game theme. Now to point out a few things. This feature depends upon the jurisdiction. Only the configuration data is replicated. Machine specific information and options must be entered manually. The machine specific information will be the serial number, the asset number, and if this is a network shared game, we must also set up the SASH protocol for each EGM along with setting them to share the link. To access the Easy Config, you must have installed all the software on all EGMs to start and the CPU logic door open. Once this has happened, you can now get access to the Easy Config menu by power cycling and then performing a RAM clear. All of this will be discussed and demonstrated in this video. Let's take a look at the features that are offered in Easy Config. There are a total of three. The first being network, the next one being local machine, and lastly, USB. Choosing network allows the user to configure one machine that is on the same network and sharing it across the network with other machines that are the same game theme. As stated earlier, with this feature, once an EGM has been set up and being shared, you only need to enter the serial number, the asset, and lastly, set the SASH protocol. This saves not only time, but reduces the ability to enter information incorrectly and is a very efficient way to set up a bank of machines The next option is the local machine. This option allows a user to restore a machine from its own configuration. Last we have USB. Using this feature allows the user again to insert a th USB thumb drive into any available port, upload the settings from one EGM, and then take this USB thumb drive to other machines that are the same game theme and upload all the settings of the original machine. Note, once you exit the operator's menu and before credits or game play has started, you can now use the Easy Config feature. Starting with the USB option, we must copy information from one game of the same theme. In order to copy the game information over from a game that has been completely set up, we will go to our Setup tab under the operator's menu. Once open, Go to the bottom of this menu as shown here and select the Easy Config button. Insert a USB thumb drive into any available 2.0 port. Once inserted, you will see the following menu. Observe. In the Config Name field, you will see the game name of the file you want to copy. Again, and remember, this can only be used on games of the same name. At the same time, you will see the Save to USB button enable. Select this. Allow the information to copy over to the USB thumb drive. Once copied over, you will see a message stating that the progressive was successful. Now you can take this USB thumb drive to other machines with the same game theme and copy it onto the next machine. Now how does that work? Simple. On that machine that you want to copy the setup information to, you will start by powering the machine on. And as a reminder, this EGM will need to have all software installed and the CPU door open. Once you power on the EGM, allow it to boot. You will see a prompt that will ask you to perform a RAM clear. Select Yes. If you do not, you will not be able to access the Easy Config menu. Once you've selected yes, you will again be asked to confirm this RAM clear. Select confirm. 
allow EGM to go through the boot process. Once completed, the Easy Config menu appears. Select the USB option as shown here. Insert the USB thumb drive you have that has the same game information copied to. Once you've inserted the thumb drive, you will touch the refresh button located at the bottom left of the screen as shown here. Touch this a few times just to be sure. After a second or so, you will see the file appear with the name of the game you have copied onto the thumb drive, and you will also see an arrow to the left of the name as well as the import button located on the bottom right enabled. Select the import button. Once selected, you will see a message that states the import was successful. This process can take anywhere from 5 to 10 seconds. All in all, it's very quick. Allow the EGM to complete this boot process. From here, as stated earlier again, you will see the game information screen appear. Here you will need to enter the EGM serial number and asset number. Once this has been completed, Set up your SAS protocol per the casino specifications, and this will complete your setup for any EGM you decide to use the Easy Config USB feature. Next, we have the local machine. This feature, as stated, allows the user to restore a machine from its own configurations. Now, to do so, we must perform the power cycle on the EGM. Ensure the CPU logic door is open again. Once it has booted up, the first thing we will need to do is perform and confirm the RAM clear. We are now ready to perform the local machine easy config operation. To start, touch the local machine button. You will see in the select config import location, the restore feature appear. Select restore point. This saves you time and getting the EGM back up and running at a much quicker rate, which is very appeasing for our customers from a customer's perspective. Last one to discuss of the Easy Config features will be the network. In order to use this feature, we first have to have the same game theme and they must all be on the same network switch. Yes, you will need a switch to use this feature. Provided the switch is in place, install all the required software on each game. Power cycle all EGMs. Let's say there are a total of four EGMs on this particular bank. Machine 1 will be the main machine, and machines 2, 3, and 4 will be the machines we will use the Easy Config for. So with that being the situation, game number 1 will be the EGM we set up completely. Once this has been set up, we can now create a link to share on this network. On EGM number 1, now that we have all options set, we want to go to our Easy Config menu to share. Select the Easy Config button as shown here. Once this menu opens, we can see the name automatically populated with the game theme we are currently working on. From here, we just need to select the share button right next to the name. By selecting this, it states we are now sharing this on the network and for all the games that are on the same switch. Note, if we were to try and upload this information to a game that isn't the same theme, you will see a message that states these games are incompatible. Thus, you cannot upload this game theme. Now all you need to do is go to the machines 2, 3, and 4, and of course, select and confirm the RAM clear process. Once this has happened, the Easy Config menu appears. Select the Network button. Once selected, right next to the Network group, you will see the Join Group button enabled. Select the Join Group button. The game theme name appears in the Select Config Import Location window. You will also see the Import button appear at the bottom right. Select the Import button. In a matter of seconds, you will see Import Successful Message appears. Once this has completed, the machine will go through its boot cycle and again, all we need to set will be our machine information. I will SAS and also go to the Easy Config tab and select Share to share this game throughout the network. We encourage you to do this for every machine on the network. This way, should something happen, you can use this machine to continue sharing the link. Hopefully this was informative and very clear. If you'd like more information and details, please refer to our SG Learn. 
Unknown Knowledge Base, we have a document that covers the same information. Thank you.